Okay, so I'm having an overheating problem with my 1998 Jeep Wrangler TJ. All right. I have replaced everything over the years. It's been happening for at least eight. I replaced the radiator with a CSF copper brass three core. And uh, that was uh, many, 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 many years ago. I think probably at least eight. And it, it still looks pretty good. I blew out the, uh, the, uh, the cooler uh, fins here. And uh, I've replaced the cap. I've replaced the water pump. Uh, the new water pump we actually <laughs> didn't look to be as, in, as good a quality as the OEM. I got it at Napa. But anyway, the water pump wasn't it. The temperature sensor wasn't it. I've replaced the fan clutch. I have done all kinds of uh, flushes and changes over the years and made sure there's no air in the system. And um, anyway, so what it's doing is on a hot day on the highway, 100 plus going out to the desert, loaded up with gear, and I have a lot of weight that uh, comes with this rig. The steel uh, bumpers are, you know, a little bit, a bit too heavy with all this smitty built pig iron on here. Um, I'm figured out I'm carrying about 1,200 pounds above what this would be stock. It's got uh, a 307 gears and 32 inch tires and there is a winch and it is obstructing at least I'd say 40% of the airflow here. But no matter what I've done every summer going uphill on the highway it will overheat and last time it, it did it like eight times before I got from LA to Mojave and uh, definitely can't run the AC. I'm running the heater, and it, uh, it takes a lot off, but even running the heater, going up the hills in the heat with all that gear, it'll still overheat. And uh, I shut it down the second the sensor goes off, and sometimes I can, I can coast, and maybe a minute later turn it back on and it's ready to go again. Otherwise, you know, I sit there for 10 minutes, let it cool and go. It's never spewed liquid out of the radiator. The worst I heard was gurgling uh, from here. And uh, you could tell it was hot, but it's never spewed fluid. So, hey, I got that going for me. It doesn't seem to be there's any head gasket issues. Um, my main thought now is that I'm just, I'm pushing it too far. It doesn't do it off-road. It doesn't do it when I'm uh, loaded up and it's nighttime. So, you know, when it's cool, it won't do it. And anyway, it's driving me crazy. It's ruined a lot of good trips over the years. And I am at the end of my rope trying to figure out what it is. So if you have any advice to share, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much.